Q&A. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Bridgie Plunkett from the Puppet Home Geek and I'm answering your questions on the PX5 headphones. So now lately, over the last two weeks, I've been getting a lot of questions on both my videos on the unboxing and the overview of the PX5s. Now I chose a couple of questions, it's not much, but because I've went through, you know, basically nearly everyone's questions and answered them, so I didn't really think, you know, uh, I didn't have to make another video about that. But I thought I picked out the most important ones and I thought it might help someone else uh, coming along and you know, they, they can just watch this video. The last question I ask, how many speakers are in every year cup or is it just the 140 mil speakers? Yes, it's only the 140 mil speakers, but I'd rather have that than, you know, eight speakers in, you know, both ear cups. Chronix Gadish asks, how much were they? I want. Um, basically, they're two hundred fifty dollars each US from Turtle Beach website. Um, from Australia, they're about three hundred dollars retail from basically any retail store. They're probably maybe two hundred ninety-five dollars. I can see them dropping about that much. Maybe later in the year, I see them dropping about going down to two fifty um, to compete with the American price, and then probably the American one going down to two hundred. But yeah, I recommend getting them from Amazon. I heard a lot of people getting them from there and getting it for a decent price, and also with free shipping. So. Go Amazon. Ben Dog asks, did they remove the slight hissing noise? I believe so they did. I haven't experienced any problems yet with the actual headphones, so I can't really say anything bad about the headphones yet um, in sound quality wise. But yes, they have removed the slight hissing noise. Um, I would say they would because I don't hear anything. But yeah, so they removed it. Okay, Shopboy247 asks, can you record with the PVR while using the Turtle Beach PX5 headset? Yes, you can. Um, but I'm not too sure on the Xbox 360, I'm not too sure how the sound settings works on the actual console, but I can actually talk about the PlayStation 3. Now what the PlayStation 3 offers is you can actually split the sound. So what you want to do is connect your optical cable through your through to your headphones transmitter and then have your HDMI cable or your um, what's the, you know the old classic one, the component um, cable connected which have your red and white. Um, sound stereo sound and all you do is go to sound setting hit um, split sound hit yes and the way you go and you're set nothing much to it Dana asks so how's the battery life hours do they do you get annoyed changing them out and do you see the battery cover lasting well basically they last about approximately 15 hours on normal alkaline batteries uh, I haven't tested them with rechargeable batteries yet but I put a fresh pair um, yesterday and I'm still using them so, so far, I, I, could, I reckon you can push it about 20 hours, but it's approximately three days of average use, I found, with the actual just normal alkaline batteries. And I don't really get annoyed changing them because, you know, I always have spares around, you know, and the headset warns you, like, probably five minutes prior to actually shutting down. Um, this lady saying, you know, you know, battery low. And then, you know, you just open it up, take the headphones out, change them, and away you go. Um, I can see the battery cover may be breaking but that's with you know not with fair use if you're like in a rush and you're trying to flick the cover out and everything you could break the little plastic holders on there but if you take your time you know split them out you know it'll last you forever kevin01 flow asks can you listen to your ipod via bluetooth while you're out of the house and not you know connected to the transmitter at a range yes you can because the headset itself is its own bluetooth headset Right, that has nothing to do with the transmitter. The transmitter is to do with the actual sound from your console. So now with the Bluetooth, um, connect to your phone. You know, hit the Bluetooth button, and the way you go. But you know, I don't see myself going around the shopping center or you know in the car with these massive headphones. Um, I'll be afraid to. I'll be pulled away by cops or something. So, anyways, yeah, but you can do it. It's possible. Um, feel free to do it in your own way. <laughs> Flash Games 248 asks, you didn't even say anything about if it's comfortable. I know I didn't. Uh, I did have to cut that out because my video was getting really long. Um, so I did cut that out because I thought I'll keep it down to sound quality. But because I did get a lot of questions on this, I'm gonna answer you. Headphones are extremely comfortable. Um, you know, you got the soft padding on the top, you got soft paddings around the ear cups. They're really good quality headphones. But, the downside to it is, I did find playing after hours, it did feel a little bit heavy. Um, I'm not too sure if that's the ear cups or anything, but you know, I don't know if it's just me. I'm not too sure. You might, you might as well, you know, talk to other people who actually got the PX5 headphones and sort of just ask them and see what you know everyone else is saying, and then come to a conclusion because you know everyone has a different preference uh, in terms of headphones. You know, some people don't like wearing over the ears, some wear like wearing you know in ears. 
and so forth. But for me, I can play them for hours in, but after a while, it does feel like, you know, I have to take them off and let my ears breathe. Okay, so that's it on the Q&As for the PX5s. Now, I hope you guys like this sort of video. Um, you know, I wasn't too sure if I should do this because I did answer nearly everyone's questions and it wasn't really a main concern to actually make this video. But I thought I'd make something different and if you guys really liked it, please thumbs up the video. Uh, it really helps me out in terms of getting recognized and, you know, the video being pushed out there. But if you guys want to see more Q&As, um, yeah, just post a comment down below. If you have any other questions regarding the PX5s or anything else, please post a comment down below and I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. But what do you guys think? Do you actually like this style of video? So once again, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And thank you all my previous subscribers, you know, for staying with me. So hopefully we can get more videos out soon for you guys. And yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Follow me on Twitter or check out my Facebook page. And I have a question for you guys. What's your favorite game? Okay, you can post your comments down below or on the discussion board on Facebook. Anyways, catch you guys later.